Hey, hi guys. So uh, we are back uh, working on the head unit. Uh, as you can see, right, I've actually done a test fitting of the conversion kit together with the plastic parts. So uh, one very obvious item here is this particular part that needs to fit into this area, right? So as you can see, it doesn't really sit uh, snugly into the, it doesn't like snap in. So what you'll need to do eventually after painting, right? Uh, if it still, the, if the thickness of the paint still doesn't help, yeah, you would need to glue it at this area, okay? So th that you, when you're doing that, you have to be very careful. If not, uh, once it's painted right, you can actually damage the paint, okay? Although you'll be hiding it behind this piece, but you still need to be careful. So I'll be applying uh, glue inside this uh, groove, okay? Another thing you would have noticed is that if you look at the head, right? You look at the fin, it doesn't really like sit flush to the head. Right? It doesn't really sit flush to the head. Not sure you can see it. Is it focusing? Yeah. So uh there's a pro and cons to it, right? Uh it's part of the conversion kit. If you look at the pictures from the conversion kit itself, uh the pictures shows that it doesn't sit flush as well. So I'm thinking of maybe painting this section in a different color. So you get a two color separation there. Okay. At the same time, right, uh, I'll be scribing a line here for the uh, another color separation. So this color and this color are, are most probably be uh, same colors that I'll be using and then the, uh, another color in the middle. Okay. Uh, I might put a decal somewhere here as well. Somewhere here. These two areas. Some sort of like small long wordings. Uh, what else do I see here? Other than that, uh, yeah, the shoulder, sort of like the neck area, uh, a lot of details. Although it is going to be hidden when the head snapped on, right? But still, you spend some, I'll be spending some time uh, detailing this, okay? As to the hoses, they'll be running through here, right? Uh, I foresee one issue I was going to use this metal piece I have to cut this this and this these three tabs on both sides I have to remove them at the same time I have to enlarge the holes in the connecting uh, hose connector style area here and here these two areas okay so I'll be drilling holes uh, to enlarge if I was to change it to the metal part uh, the only thing is that finding the right size uh, I'll be dropping by the local hobby store uh, maybe tomorrow after work yeah. and to see whether they have any in, in stock okay as for the rest of the details uh, this is the conversion kit so excellent details small little fine details like little grooves here you can just color it very nicely and that's it so uh, what I'm going to do now is just to the V-pin. Very simple scribe. Okay. Let me put my magnifying vision thing on. This. <laughs> okay. Get myself a... Describing tapes are all very sticky, extremely sticky. Okay, for this case, right, 
uh, I'll just perpendicular to the shape of the V-fin, the top part of the V-fin and I'll just have it slightly yep see that? So the idea is just to scribe that line there. Okay, I'm going to be using uh, Matworks 0 0.1. Okay, Matworks 0 0.1 for the scribe. And when you're scribing, right, it's practically like feather like strokes. I don't I'm not even pressing against the part. The weight of the blade is actually doing all the work. Okay. You might need to go a few times, it's okay, but don't force it. If you force it right, your lines are gonna be wonky. You're gonna get jagged lines and your blade will actually get stuck in the part itself. So just let the blade do the work you might not see results immediately you could go up to like 20 cuts etc if you are really feather like before you actually see anything okay, okay. so that is done not sure you can see it I'll just do the other side. Oops, sorry. Let me know in the comments, right? Uh, if this camera angle is okay, because it is actually right in front of me. <laughs> I put it on the floor and it's mounted right in front of me. Okay. Try to find another camera angle, but you play around with the angle still I find the one that works. Okay, next part just flip the part over and again. So you'll be you're just mounting it like so. It's quite easy to judge because it's a small part and the lines where you cut right you can actually see the joints so you can just align it to get a see you can actually see it from here right you can align it in such a way that it's workable the cut that you have made with your new uh sort of like your new masking ruler thing okay, okay then you do the cut See, I'm pressing my fing this finger to this hand to stabilize the movement and I'm holding it as close as possible to the blade I don't hold it here right you, it's, you lose control hold it as close as possible to the blade and then you just do I'm not even touching it almost the, the initial few strokes are the uh, 
make or break thing. If you screw up your first few strokes, right, chances of screwing up your cut will be there. Once you, one of your strokes goes out of alignment, right, that's it. Uh, you you need to uh, so sort of like fix it and start over. See that the pre the last stroke I was actually forcing it a bit, but yeah. So I'm, I'm okay. We're done. Okay, so we got a yeah. We got a pattern that goes right wrong. Yep. And by right, I should be doing another cut here to join the two sides. Similarly here as well. Okay, so I'll just do that. Okay, get more tapes. And it's almost too too small to detect. Let's do a couple of cuts will do. Okay. And then for the other side. We are done. So that will add a little bit of color separation. Right. I'm gonna do next is just to wash all the parts on uh, in my ultrasonic cleaner so I, I won't film that yeah so basically what I do is I, I put a uh, like tea, uh, roughly a, a, a teaspoon of uh, washing liquid detergent your kitchen dishwashing de detergent into this and then I'll leave it running for and add water and leave it running for like 10 minutes after that uh, I'll just dry the parts and I'll start painting them uh, once it's dry okay so uh, that's all the video I have for today for for now for this build so we'll continue uh, in the painting phase okay thanks guys bye